Hey yo, welcome back to more pro wrestling news coverage. Coming up, there's reports of WWE superstar being wary about getting fired during this current crisis. Why is WWE waiting to the last minute to reveal WrestleMania changes that we already know about? Breaking news as it looks like WWE might be forced to take a break following this year's WrestleMania. The Undertaker apologized on social media. What is 2020 become to? And more. So you guys already know make sure to elbow drop it and let's jump into it with everything that is going on it feels like the following report is something that we were expecting there's some concerns among a few wrestlers in wwe about releases that could be coming when things get back to normal wwe will of course be taking a massive hit this year with wrestlemania as they will not be seeing a revenue from ticket sales or merchandise as sold and they are losing out on revenue Revenue that will have been generated from SmackDown, Raw, NXT TakeOver, and even the Hall of Fame ceremony. People in the company have talked about how the company is unlikely to hit revenue projections this year and there will be pressure to cut back on cost. Some of those costs coming in the form of releasing superstars. WrestleNomics reported recently that the lack of fans at WrestleMania could result in WWE losing around 22 million. And with so many many unused stars in his ranks, we can see the firing of multiple superstars on that lower rank. Vince McMahon has of course offered big contracts to keep wrestlers from going elsewhere, but given what is going on in the world, some lower card wrestlers have privately acknowledged that there may be some tough decisions made this year, and there is a fear of talent cuts coming at some point. To add to all of this, WrestlingNews.co is reporting that one of their sources explained that WWE stars are seriously concerned for their futures and that even AEW can no longer be seen as a safety net as Tony Khan will also be looking to save money because he is also going to be losing money. The feeling is that most of the mid-card wrestlers and the top stars will be fine but some of the wrestlers not used much on shows are wary of being fired. Of course eventually things will go back to normal but WWE is going to have to compensate for for all of the money that they have been losing, not just from not having Raw, SmackDown, NXT, or even WrestleMania, but also because they're not able to run their regular four to five days a week of live events. So that is a lot of money being left on the table. The last people to be released by WWE were Luke Harper's The Ascension and Sin Cara in December of 2019. And Luke Harper has since then gone to debut as Brody Lee in AEW. They also recently let go of Matt Hardy, but that is a a whole different situation since he wasn't released. All of this is obviously not the best news, especially for those superstars in the lower card. Hopefully it's not something that WWE does and instead do some budget cuts elsewhere. And we're just gonna have to wait and see what decision WWE makes when things get back to normal. One big decision that they recently made was of course to give us a WrestleMania no matter what. WWE has been committed to that and it is already happening this Saturday and Sunday. But one of the big things has been why is WWE still promoting some of the matches that we know are going to be changed. Despite Roman Reigns himself announcing he will not be in his match with Goldberg at WrestleMania, WWE is still heavily advertising that that Universal Championship match is going to be happening this weekend. We also know that in addition to Reigns, we got The Miz, The New Day, at least one of the Usos, Andrade, Dana Brooke, and Rey Mysterio, removed from the show as a result of concerns. Well, according to Case Tie Seats, WWE is likely going to wait until the very last minute to announce anything regarding these matches that have been changed in the hope that some fans will not have heard the news and will therefore watch the show without realizing that Rain won't be in action. This is of course an advertisement tactic that they're doing, which is why so much negativity surrounds the WWE in certain situations when they try to do stuff like this you know when they try to act like the fans are actually ignorant or whatever and don't admit certain things they're misleading fans into thinking that they're gonna get something and then we already know it's not gonna be happening we knew this from last week and they could have just simply stopped what they were recording and just give us a special announcement regarding the situation so that fan knows what exactly is ahead 
admitting something like this and at least not misleading people for days until the last possible minute just so that they could continue advertising Roman Reigns, it's a shitty decision no matter how you look at it. And yes, you could put the defense on the fact that, well, they already pre-taped SmackDown so they can't really do nothing, but that's not necessarily true. They could have someone like Triple H or even Michael Cole just make the special announcement, let people know this has been pre-recorded. Unfortunately, it's not going to be happening anymore. Tune in next week for an update on the situation and then just replay one of Goldberg's match from last year or whatever because they already been doing a lot of replays during the show to fill up time. Hopefully this Friday they make an announcement and they don't play it out all the way up to the actual event when then we get some breaking news. On to some other big news, so it looks like WWE might have to stop production after WrestleMania. So early on this morning, Florida governor announced a state at home order for the entire state. <clears throat> the order goes into effect this Thursday and will last for at least the next 30 days with only a essential services being allowed to operate with this order of course affecting wwe since they are located at the performance center in orlando florida they will not be able to tape the following shows after what they have already recorded we know that they already recorded the row after wrestlemania for april 6 anything beyond that it's off the table they were planning on taping more episodes on april 10 that being the day for the friday smackdown after wrestlemania and that is now unlikely. WrestleVote ended up reporting the following after today's announcement. Rumors around the PC last week were that if the state of Florida issued a stay-at-home order, which happened today, WWE would reconsider taking a break post-WrestleMania. WrestleVote added that in regards to the role after WrestleMania, if they do end up taking a break, then some footage that were supposed to air on that day will be change or remove since of course they don't want to continue a certain storyline when they don't necessarily know when they're going to be able to tape the show again the crazy thing about all of this is of course the timing could you guys have imagined if wwe didn't tape wrestlemania ahead of time wrestlemania is this weekend if they would have given it to us live they wouldn't have been able to since this order is kicking in just two days before that wrestlemania event talk about getting lucky i guess Moving into some more positive news, The Undertaker is in social media in 2020. And it is just weird even saying that. So this week, of course, he did an American badass type of promo. And during his passionate promo, Taker even brought back his iconic, I will make you famous catchphrase when speaking about AJ Styles and facing him at Mania. However, that wasn't the only thing that caught everyone's attention. The veteran also referenced to AJ Styles Styles, stablemates Lou Gallows and Karen Anderson as ass clowns. And for those who aren't aware, former WWE champion and current AEW star Chris Jericho often uses this phrase, ass clown, while cutting promos on the crowd or his rivals. Well, Taker went on Twitter and actually apologized for using the word. Of course, it was more of a sarcastic type of thing between Jericho and him, but it's certainly wild because it is The Undertaker we're talking about here. When a fan suggested that Chris Jericho should sue The Undertaker for using ass clowns, Chris Jericho replied with the following, Hardly. He is The Undertaker. He can use as many of my catchphrases as he wants. Then Undertaker replied with the following, My bad, Chris Jericho. I knew I heard that from somewhere before. On to some other news, this week's edition of WWE Raw drew 1.9 million viewers, which was down from last week's episode of Raw, which drew 2.006 million viewers. This week's number was close to the non-holiday record low of 1.8 million viewers from December 23rd of last year. The Christmas Eve episode of Raw in 2018 has the overall record low with 1.7 million viewers. There's no doubt that with everything going on right now, the rating struggle is going to continue and this is a great representation of just how much 
fans are the most important thing when it comes to the WWE, AEW, any wrestling promotion, or any other sport. This week's show was of course taped, but there was no spoilers, so it's a bit concerning that it went down so much. Plus, it was the WrestleMania Go Home Raw show. This really might be a sign that WWE should indeed take a break after this year's big event. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below on the whole situation. Should they finally get a break? And the last report that we got is in regards to a WrestleMania match. So, of course, we're going to be getting Asuka Kari Sane versus Nikki Cross and Alexa Bliss. WWE already confirmed that match. But the big question is, is Kari Sane going to be there because she hasn't been on television for almost a month now? Well, regarding her absence from WWE television, she has been in Japan because she recently got married and reportedly asked for time off prior to WrestleMania 36. WWE granted her that vacation, and according to the Wrestling Observer Radio, Carrie Sane was able to travel back to the United States in time to do her match with Asuka against Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross. So yes, we are going to be seeing her this weekend. And I mean, considering that WrestleMania 36 theme is a pirate ship, some way, somehow, automatically, Carrie Sane has to have the best entrance of the night. It's going to be a massive disappointment if it's not. Anyways, guys, that is all the coverage that I got for you in this video. If you enjoy or found it informative, don't forget to elbow drop it. As always, stick around for more of the latest by hitting that bell notification and making sure that it's turned on. Join up as we on the road to 200,000 subscribers. I'll see you on the next one, so stay savage.